Welcome back to another Persona 5, the animation review. Today is episode 9. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, Logan's an anime viewer only. I played the game, beat it, yada yada. And we're going to discuss the episode and give our scores at the end. You ready to jump on? Here? Let's jump in. So this episode focuses on a lot of the side stuff you can do in the game with the old uh social links and stuff like that like building up your relationships with all the characters and stuff like that but they streamline it like really quickly <clears throat> a lot of these stories actually take a long time to get through um right they're From not an anime quick. only perspective it seemed like a pretty just chill episode yeah. where it's just like it's just you know we'll introduce some or build on a couple characters yeah this and then building on like game mechanics essentially so they're getting <clears throat> They talk about how they're trying to build the belief in the Phantom Thieves. <clears throat> because obviously the more popular they are and the more people that believe in them, the further they can go into mementos, they showed the bigger door opening up. Because um, the further they go, the closer they get to finding out the truth, the more Ghana, at least, they hope. Um, and while they're doing that, you know, they're gaining collectibles and treasure, more personas for Joker um so a lot of times <laughs> they are dirty treasures so they have to go to the laundry machine i never do that in the game because it takes up your afternoon i'd rather use that time getting <clears throat> building social links and stuff like that so it's a mechanic i've never really used i don't know how many people would actually use it like because you have to do things in a specific time to max your full all your social links before the end of the game i gotta get those trophies dude uh <laughs> Sure. <laughs> we get the little awkward bath scene. You gotta get those in. You gotta get that fan service you in. Gotta get that fan surface in there. Now we got quotas. Ooh. Get that fans every. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Which the bathhouse is right next to the laundry mat. They're literally like connected to each other. So hey, that's sense. a good idea. When you're doing laundry, go go chill in the bath, because you know. I won't be sitting in some old rickety ass chair waiting for my laundry to get done. <laughs> exactly. And then we see a whole bunch of other mechanics here. Like he goes to the library, rents a book, which that is something I did a lot because that's how you build up. You have like attributes like your knowledge, guts, proficiencies, kindness, and charm. So books can affect any of those. Um, Social links can affect those and stuff like that. So you're building up those, uh, build up your knowledge so you do better on the test, stuff like that. If you do better on that test, it helps with a whole bunch of things. And it's like, oh, hey, you're one of the smarter ones in the school and people are surprised. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. So this really is just like, hey, let's build these social links. We get the maid service. <coughs> <laughs> they got to find out. <laughs> They can use it. <laughs> this My goodness. Well, this this was very, uh, gave a lot of fans what they wanted. <laughs> but I mean, Ryuji and Mishima are just hilarious. Like, she was like, no, we have to investigate it. It's not that I want to see it. <laughs> At least, uh, I mean, Joker had a lot more dialogue this episode than usual. Yes. Yeah, Usually he's like super quiet. Or just doesn't say anything. But this time he was actually... I feel like he had more dialogue this episode than like the past few combined. No, he definitely has. That's just how the, the <clears throat> MCs typically are the first one in the world. They don't really talk. Uh, most of the time they don't even have like too much of like a voice outside of combat in like the Persona ones. It's just because you're always just picking the dialogue line. So it's not like they never go too deeply into it. Um, but yeah, they definitely went into a lot more here. Um, which we learned, obviously, it's the teacher. The big reveal. Kawakami, she's, uh, you know, she's working part-time. I'm going to assume they'll get into that later, of why she's doing it. It's actually, because one thing you'll learn is almost every character has a very dark storyline. Uh... I mean, that's pretty standard in anime. Yeah, it's super standard. 
So we'll, we'll get into that probably later of why she's being a maid at the same time. Um, obviously, he's still doing the clinic trials, Dr. Takumi. By the way, all these girls are also optional for like, if you max a social link, you have the option of like dating them. So yeah, you can date Romance your teacher. Options. Yeah, you can date your teacher. Hey, that is not allowed. Dating. That's against the student rule book. You can't date your teacher. You just wait till school's over. You also everything. can't call her over as a private maid. That's. I don't know if that's in the rule book. <laughs> you just say, I don't know. It's like it's probably not being a probably can't be a maid as a teacher. I'm sure that's in the book somewhere. I'm not I sure hate. you couldn't hire a teacher to be a maid. That is unprofessional. <laughs> <clears throat> but hey, you gotta build those social links and relationships, <laughs> man. Um, get a lot of Ryuji, more of him trying to his track team, all of them are like kind of like they're in a bad place trying to get back. They're like, oh, we finally got our new coach in here. Oh, this new coach is also an asshole who's just trying <laughs> to basically use them to get. Prestige basically just use them again. Like, it's all right, thanks, man. Uh, <clears throat> Every coach is a dick. Don't worry, they're getting their old coach back. He's a nice guy. Maybe that's, I, that's I'm good. assuming. Maybe. I'm assuming it is. Maybe I don't hear maybe. anything conflict after this point. So, safe assumption he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of this with Ryuji and just, hey, these people are gonna start. Actually caring more about themselves on the track team. He lets them beat him up for some reason. Yeah, that's kind of rude. <laughs> yeah, like, Why hey, would... he offers it because, like, he feels bad. He feels like that's one of the best ways he can, like, retone for it, I guess. And then the others just go ahead and willingly just beat him up. Even the guy right. that was telling the secrets of the other members <laughs> right. beat him up. He's the I'm... one who doesn't get the right. They were all in it because of him. Right. I feel like they could have handled that better. Like, come on. I would, if it was me, I would have just, you know, directed my anger to, you know, the coach that beat people and <laughs> was an asshole. Not to... But whatever. He let them bond as a team by letting them kick his ass. Yes. Though he'll never be back on the team. <laughs> He's. Of course, Kawakami gets to see this and see, like, oh, hey, Ryuji's not that terrible of a student like everybody thinks he is. <clears throat> it's just, he's had it rough. Of course. Yes, exactly. Of course. <laughs> There's very few people who don't have a rough. That's just, you can't really have a game of focus. Where's my character? Like a story. <laughs> if you get, like, oh, oh, this person had, like, a perfect life or whatever, it's never entertaining to learn about them. True. It's just like, all right, Mr. Golden Spoon over here. Right? <laughs> like, damn, this guy is. Why am I even here? You don't need me. Um, let's see, and then there's nothing really too much outside of that besides after credits, where, um, you know, they talk. We get more of the Velvet Room. <clears throat> more looks like we got a new persona. Yeah, new persona. Um, yeah, mention how like the... there's a great change coming. Uh, of course, his rehabilitation is going great because he's building all those cards are representing a like, chariot cards representing the social links, like the emperor, empress, fortune, all that good stuff. If you know your tarot cards, I know them only because of persona. But <laughs> <coughs> thank you. Yeah, me too. Thank you, persona. Uh, I've seen tarot cards and a lot of other stuff just never really learned them this helps um, and then back in the Dima we learn hey some car went out of control similar to like the guy in the train station um, and of course they showed who their next target was a little bit yeah. of and we'll get more of him next episode, guarantee, because they have to explain how they picked him as a target. <clears throat> but yeah, this is just a, mm. hey, look at all this side stuff you can do in the game to build character <laughs> relations, which none of this you could have completed by this point in the game. 
because it takes a long damn time <clears throat> through the story to do it all because you have to do at least 10 meetings with everyone and you can't do it every day because they only you're only allowed to do it with some characters on some days because of their schedules and stuff like that if it's raining you can't really do stuff you have to study i feel some uh, pent up frustration here no i love doing all that stuff <laughs> I'm sure there was a time like, who gives a shit if it's rainy? Just come meet me. <laughs> nah, you get your study in on those days because you get extra points towards your knowledge. Anyway, mechanics, let's jump into looking. scores. Mechanics. All right, yeah. What do you got? Hmm. I guess like a five and a half to six. Just because I have no knowledge of the game, I can't really appreciate it as much. It, to me, it was just like, oh, here's a, you know, uh, an episode just to, you know, kill some time to set up for the next target. I mean, I did like, I do like the teacher as a character. I'm glad she got some time. But I mean, there wasn't too much going on from a anime viewer perspective only. I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll just give it a six, like. Yeah, and like you said, it was just kind of a downtime episode. Um, and of course, I do like how um, Joker had more lines. Yeah, that's or, always good. I I keep calling him Joker. Is his name what? Ren? It's Ren. I call him. Okay. Joker, Joker just sticks out more. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, so the six. Um, just your standard. Hey, let's get stuff set up. Kind of show what's. Some of these other mechanics, and of course the comical scenes from the games. Again, if you come from the games, you probably already you've seen all this, so uh, you're just seeing this sped up. But uh, it's usually why I don't come from source materials when I watch stuff. But you know, it's doing what they always do with all their anime series. It's just kind of just retelling it, right. Yeah, but that's, that's it. Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Spiel time! If you want our maid service, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. God, it's okay, Logan. No one watches our first reviews. I didn't make this agreement. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to dress up like a maid with me and go help out some of our <laughs> subscribers who comment and notify themselves? <laughs> That's not what you thought about this one. We did dinner you know, like, remember, Logan is an anime viewer only, so no spoilers, and plenty, some others are, maybe. Uh, and stream on twitch.tv. Links are in the description below. And until next time, peace out. See ya. Have a maid. <laughs>